Hello, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Here's what I've done so far. I'm so in love, you guys. I can't tell you. I'm so in love. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Here's what I decided to do for the last couple weeks of February. There are tons of sets that I've set aside. Um, just knowing that I want to do them. I don't know when. They're not necessarily seasonally based or holiday based or, you know, they're not occasion. <laughs> they're not occasion based. So um, that's what we're going to do. Just some really probably... I would say very, most of them are pretty simple. Not real heavy in the art, just kind of simple. Um, the one I'm going to do, I'm coming into a five-day weekend. I have Thursday, Friday, and Monday off. Well, and Saturday and Sunday, but Thursday, Friday, Monday, no school. So I am going to do a fancy set this weekend that I've been wanting to do. But other than that, uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to love the color street stuff that I love. So there's that. All right. So what we're doing real quick, and I'm not going to go into huge detail in this. Um, if you are in the sassy crew on, um, on Facebook, you guys, I did a whole, uh, live thing about this and I'm trying to find, there we go. Found one. Okay, so I ordered on eBay a set of 24 of the Sally Hansen Salon Effects, a mix. So you didn't know what you were getting. This one is a French Manny called Steal the Night, so it's a silver tip, okay? So um, that part is besides the point. One I got is a black tip, okay? I thought this was super cool. Can you see that line where it's cut? So you do both tips out of one strip. I don't know if it shows for you guys. But there's like a second line. So you do this tip and then that tip. I thought that was cool. But when you get these, you guys, instead of coming as two full strips, they come... Love you, buddy. See you in the morning. They come in two little packages. So you get like... One of the strips is in here, and one of the strips is in here. This is another set I got and was so excited for. It's like glittery pink zebra. Oh, my God. And then this one and I was not as excited for. Snake skin. Eh, snakes, not my thing. Okay, but what I love about um, the tips, you guys, is then they come with two little packets of this. And I know it shows a bit yellow, but it is not at all. So this is how um, you could get your tips back in the olden days. Is you would get this and it's very sheer. And so I was excited for it because I wanted to play with it over something. One of the things I had seen and loved was somebody had taken Show and Shell, which this is the original Show and Shell. And put Penny Lane over it. And I adore that. And I have Penny Lane so I could have done it. But what I wanted to do is this little overlay. And I wanted to show how it works. Because I know other people are going to be ordering them. And I want you to know what you're getting into. So do you see it? Basically it's like a soft caramel color. Okay. So let's do it so you guys can see. And the other thing I'm doing is the cre just the cream show and shell. I'm going to put one of the off-brand um, moon and stars overlays. It's a full moon tomorrow. And I thought the gold would be pretty, you know, there wasn't a lot of like um, uh, a rhyme and, rhyme and reason, I guess, to why I did that that way. But that's what I have done. So we've got here, let me show you. That was Penny Lane that I showed you guys over Show and Shell here. Beautiful. Don't think that won't be coming back. This is what I have left of Show and Shell, just the cream strips. And I know those will be handy dandy at some point. These are my off-brand gold overlays. And then this part was in this package. 
And you guys, these are from 2013. Can you see? Oh, there you can. 2013. And if you ever wondered how to know when your sets are from, it's that last number. So let's look at show and shell 2021. And so here's the funny thing. Um, when you're dealing with these Sally Henson ones, you guys, you got to think way back because, um, I mean, obviously we haven't had 2023 yet, but the last Sally Henson ones I use, the, the number was a one, but I knew they weren't from 2021 because these are long, long, long ago. So I knew that these were our, I knew they were 2011 and I know these are 2013. So there you go. There's that little, little bit for you. So hi, welcome. If you're new here or if you're old here, uh, I'm Stacy and I am a not a color street stylist. I am just an addict who seriously, you guys, basically I could do my nails probably almost every day and that's the other thing I'm gonna say for these last couple weeks of February you guys I'm not gonna be super scheduled because I have a lot of stuff I want to do I'm just gonna go with the flow of it and whenever I feel like changing them I'm gonna change them that's all if you find yourself coming back here and enjoying my nonsensical humor and sometimes potty mouth um, Go ahead and subscribe there's always at least two videos a week I will say that try to aim for at least two a week so um, last night I was opening a jar of green olives and I like had really squished my um, pinky when I was like er, cranking on it and popped my <laughs> little pinky nail right off. <laughs> so there went that. But so I just treated it as, okay, this is a good time to, um, you know, oil up. Cuticle care to the max. Um, shape my nails how I wanted them. Trim them back a bit because I get grossed out when they get too long. Mainly because I wind up with everything in it, you guys. Like, I mean, you can't eat Cheetos with super long nails. Unless you're going to use a fork or something. Because you'll end up with orange cheesy under it. You know, it's a bad deal. Whoop. There we go. Okay. In my head, this is going to be lovely. So we'll hope that it translates the same and it did oh I love that one okay so the only downside of these kind are you do have to nip the end and this part is not perforated so you gotta trim it around um I'm usually only using these kind of nails especially um basically always overlays and almost always as just an accent so it doesn't bother me to trim up you know to trim up one it doesn't bother me uh, I won't I'm not as big of a fan as having if I have to trim all of them but you know if I'm just doing one you guys I'm in it I'm in it to win it Oh, wow. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Uh, a couple of the sets I have planned for the rest of the month, though, are uh, neutral colorways. So if you are a neutral loving gal, or if you maybe want to take a little uh, try at it, keep your eyes open for that. And the one I'm doing this weekend is a very artsy one. And I think I'll do it, I think I'll record it as a full start to finish. Because it really, really has a lot going on. Um, 
has a lot going on. I'm really excited for it. Somebody had posted it. Oh boy, I don't even know where, but one of the nail girls shared it. And so I will, I'll do it on my good camera, you guys, and show you the inspiration and then um, how I'm slightly adjusting the inspiration. And it's not a ton, but it is a bit. I'm adjusting the inspiration a bit. Oh my gosh, I love Show and Shell. I feel like this is 100% an underrated set, you guys. Um, and I have... It's a pretty small hoard. I think I only have two more sets of it now. So I think I'll probably hit D stash and get a few more, but uh, I think it's definitely underrated. This is my this is my thoughts going forward, like get sets I really love, you know. And girl if I don't really love them then I'm not gonna throw you my money I'm just not gonna do it I'm not gonna you know make a, a buy three get one be a fifty sixty dollar event every single week because they're throwing mini releases at me and I'm not gonna buy them just to buy them and I know like in the grand scheme it's adding you know five or six bucks to your order um, but it's also going to add, you know, another dollar in tax and depending on what sets you're getting, you know, it could be adding $8 plus tax. I just, I'm not thrilled with it and it's not going to deter me from using or buying. What it is going to do is make me more selective. How about that? It's going to make me more selective and that's okay. That's okay. And girl, it ain't like I ain't got crap to use. Look how beautiful that is. But we're going to make it more beautiful. So this is super lovely. Can you guys see it? It's just like a kind of a caramely. Why do I keep, I mean, uh, caramel or like, um, oh, antique? I think it makes things look kind of antique. You guys, my, my other thought for this, how I want to use it is over, um, Berry Mary, my fave Christmas set that has just the, like, kind of the antique white background and then, um, holly berries and stuff on it. Oh, I think that would make it lovely. Like, basically, anything, if you put this over anything white, it's going to go from being that super white to, like, a lovely antiqued product. I think that's... Sorry, I didn't mean to flip you off. This might be too short. We'll see. Um, my other thought to use it was, like, all these 11 million white sets that they put out that I don't love the white background. If I dropped this over and kind of gave it that vintage look, I might like it better. We'll see, right? The St. Patrick's Day stuff comes out Thursday, you guys. I have heard that in a couple places. Uh, they're supposed to be posting pictures tomorrow. I have seen a solid green glitter, but um, the other ones I don't know what they're going to be, but they're supposed to be better art. Oh, wow. Oh, you guys, I'm a whole lot of mind blown. kind of wish I had cut this nail back a bit more. I will do that before the next set. It's still a little bit longer than my loving, liking and loving. And I do think, maybe, I guess, now I'm not sure. I was going to say I do think I'm going to put um, Northern Lights over this for a little teeny 
glitter bit. Maybe I'll pull out the Northern Lights Gold. Ooh, I haven't done that in a while. Oh, you guys, I'm really looking forward to the next two weeks just being like, um, stuff I've been wanting to do that I didn't necessarily feel like fit into an occasion or whatever. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be like living all my best color street days. How's everybody's Valentine's Day? Willow made the best um, garlic chicken rice thing on the stovetop, and she made um, blondie brownies with like, instead of using any chips in them, like butterscotch chips or chocolate chips or anything, she was going to do cherry, and then instead she went with, um, like, toffee pieces. Oh my god. It was so good, you guys. Seriously, her best, one of her best meals she's ever made. And she is a great, um, baker and cook, but she doesn't normally make... Uh, she doesn't normally make, like, non-Asian foods. She really is a fan of Asian foods, so that's what she cooks the most. And I brought her home sushi for lunch for Valentine's Day. And Dathan left her flowers and... Oh, you guys, I gotta show you what he got me. Hang on if I can reach it. about to get real. Can you see this? Hot beverages all day. It's like, ugh, it's hard to show with my, see that? A coffee mug with a heater. You guys, come on. You know I need that. I'm drinking coffee all day, every day. And now it might even be hot. And then look at this cutie pie card. Isn't that adorable? It's like chalky drawing, which I adore. Okay. I'm going to show you guys here on this other finger. Hang on, let me clip this here. There we go. Okay, I'm going to show you on this one what this looks like by itself. So I'm going to put that down first, even though there's no reason for me to put it down first, other than to show you guys. How it gives you just this lovely, like, tint? A tint. I feel like that's a tint, right? <laughs> my little, my poor little garbage pants. They're so filled. They're so overfilled. There we go. Yeah, you can tell the difference, right? Not and is. There. Now you know. So if you use that over a tip, over a French tip, you know what it's gonna what it's gonna look like. And now personally, I wouldn't use it over a French tip unless I wanted to make the white have that kind of vintage look, but I wouldn't want to put it over um you know any of the colored tips. Or I feel like it would adjust things a little too much for my liking. Okay. I'm so happy to have these. I think I I got six um yeah. Of my 12 mystery sets, six of them were tips, which mean I have 12 packs of these, um, you know, 
tinted overlays of sorts and I am excited. Also, did we even talk about the fact that these are from 2013 and going on like butter? Yeah. We can talk about that if you want. Who's ordering uh, nail polish from over tomorrow? You guys, I try not to get on rants. I really do. Because I don't want people to think like that I hate Color Street. Because I am probably one of the farthest people <laughs> from that. But here is what I can say. Is I love the stylists. So when I get ranting, you guys, it's because I feel like the stylists are getting shafted and either A, don't realize it, or B, won't say it. <laughs> so for me, a price increase, you guys, that's to be expected of any product, right? Um, especially when we're going on five years in. But a price increase um, that is not sharing the love with the stylists is, isn't okay for me because here's why. They have, and he has made it well known, that they have bought, um, you know, they bought the only one of two places in the world that make a lot of their components. They bought it right so now they can be making that's how they can be making like um, the removers and um, the strengthening uh, base coat and that kind of stuff right that's how they can be making that stuff themselves now so that means you've taken out the middleman that means you're the middleman so your cost for these items obviously has went down so your cost has went down, but now you're upping your costs. To me means that should translate to the stylist getting a better hit of things, right? And here's the other thing. The lower, um, lower sales volume stylists are now going to be getting, and I think this all starts in April, um, they're going to be getting a 15% commission instead of a 25% commission. Now, I'm not arguing that. I, I agree with that. I don't think it's fair for someone who is a hobbyist to be getting the same thing as someone who's working their hiney off. Okay, so now let's think about that though. How many people do you think are basically at a hobbyist level? versus a full-on stylus level. A lot. That's what I'm going to say. It's a lot. And now those people are losing 10%, right? They're getting 10% less commission. So then why are we raising prices and not giving more to those gals, um, you know, that are working it? Like, why are they not getting 35% um, now? Why didn't they just pick up that extra 10% you took away from the other ones? Because everywhere else in the world that sells in Coca, in Cocoa, and, re and remember, you guys, no matter where you buy your in Cocoa nails, if you buy them in Mexico, if you buy Color Street in Canada, if you buy your in Cocoa stuff in Japan or Korea or Belgium or anywhere else, I mean, all basically all over the world now, anywhere you buy them, they are made the exact same place ours are made. They're made in New Jersey. That is always their biggest push is um, made in the U.S., made in the U.S., made in the U.S., and that's fine. Um, I'm not one who is a stickler for made in the U.S. versus made wherever because I understand that even if something is made in China or Japan, those people also need to feed their families. So I'm not a huge, a huge stickler on things having to be made in the U.S. But every single thing is being made here 
for the same cost and you can trust and believe that they're not giving things away um, and taking a loss in Japan or Korea or wherever it is that they're doing it. So if they can be sold there for anywhere from $5 to $7, in fact, um, I follow the Inkoko Japan page and they were having a big sale clearing things out for springtime. Uh, oh, we don't have that. We never have that. And why do we not have that? We don't have it because ours is set to an MLM style. And I'm not ragging on MLMs, you guys, at all because I understand it. I understand getting twosies on the hands because that is obviously what it needed to take because he was you know, he was in Coco. He was Sally Hansen. He, well, I mean, he still is in Coco. He was Avon. He was all these different things um, before he was Color Street. And although they're all still the same nail and still made exactly the same, those didn't take off. And for a few reasons, they didn't take off. A, they couldn't give enough um, change up in stores and such. And that is one of the keys to what makes Color Street work is you have to be able to um, have different things coming at you, right? Like, um, I don't want to see the same thing in the winter when spring and summer hit. I want to see different things. But it's not as easy to just change that all up when you're working with a store um, or another brand. You know, you basically, um, Sally Hansen isn't going to have... Um, like a new release of nail strips every other week like Color Street is doing you guys okay so I understand that and Fa understands that he knows that nail polish is um, deeply personal to women we do things not just women women and men both you guys we do things based on mood we do things based on seasons we do it based on holidays we wear a gold moon and stars overlay when there's a full moon tomorrow but this isn't in coco please fog it with it please gold overlays moon and stars make it happen um we we need something special for our birthday we need something special for our wedding uh, we need something special to wear to our friend's wedding you know we have reasons we maybe are doing dark colors when we're having a darker stage in our life we're doing um a happier color because it's just how the mood struck us we're doing show and shell because we're just feeling it you know what i mean like we're not going to be satisfied with um, 15 sets for an entire year, you guys. It's not going to happen. And that is why there needs to be an MLM. There needs, uh, somebody has to get the strips on the, on the people's fingers in order to make it work. Now, do I think that Color Street is popular enough that they could switch back to a website? Eh, probably not really. I think they would do well, but um, I still am surprised at how many people I meet that have no idea what it is. So I guess I don't think they're quite to that point yet. Um, I also think that a lot of families meaning stylists, you know, and not just the stylists at the top, you know, a lot of different range of stylists would kind of be shafted that count on it as a, I'm a stay at home person income. So I think that would be a hard transition because then what do they do? You know, um, there's a lot that goes into it, you guys. My biggest worry right now is that they're going to price themselves out of people saying, well, basically what I said. I'll be more particular with what I buy now. I won't necessarily buy every mini release and every little set just to have it. Um, I'll be more 
choosy with what I hoard, you know, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, you guys. Um, I also wonder what it's going to do for the stylists. Like, are they also going to be more choosy with what they hoard? You know what I mean? Or how many they order? Because it will affect, you know, when they turn in their parties too. I mean, there's just a lot of trickle down from it. There is. There's a lot of trickle down from it. And there are a lot of people that use off-brand nails now. Uh, and, and I won't... I would be long from saying any off-brand is as good as Color Street. I feel like I've tried tons of off-brands. I like to use them. They have their place. I like to use Color Street under them. Um... But none of them are the same. You know, they have components that are that are the same. Whether it's, um, you know, they're nice and thin. Um, maybe they don't need a nipper to clean up the ends. Or maybe they just, you know, have a lot of, look a lot alike. You know, there's lots of parts that go into it. But nobody's nailed it, you guys. And he will ensure it stays that way. I mean, he gets patents every year for everything because he's worked too hard at it. It's his passion. My worry is, is that it's not his kid's passion. Does that make sense? I worry that they don't understand the work he put into it to have the same love he has. When he talks about it, when Fa talks about it, he is super animated and you can feel his excitement. Um, I don't know if his kids are the same way. So, and I feel like that's what we're seeing right now. So there you go. There's my 10 cents worth of opinion, you guys. I love these so dang much. Ah, oh, dang it, I just put my finger on that top coat. I'll have to fix it. Yeah, I love these. Alright, you guys, get ready for lots of nails over the next couple weeks. I'm going to say more than likely they'll be pretty, pretty simple styles. Lots of layering, lots of color combos I've just wanted to use. Um, but hopefully it'll be interesting, right? Hopefully we'll have lots to talk about as... The St. Patrick's Day in spring and just all this stuff is getting, it's going to be busy. You guys, the next month, have your pocketbook ready. There's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. Alright gals, have a great night. I'll see you in a couple days.